na mkaribu kwa taarifa kamili. Viongozi mbalimbali mbali kutoka eneo la bonde la Ufa wakiongozwa na seneta wa kaunti ya Baringo Gideon Moi wameelezea kutamausha kwao na mipango ya serikali ya kutekeleza awamu ya pili ya kufurusha zaidi ya maskota sitini ambao wamevamia msitu wa Mau. Kadhalika viongozi hao wamesema kwamba ipo haja ya kuandaa mazungumzo ili kusuluhisha tatizo la uharibifu katika msitu wa Mau. Majuma kadhaa yaliyopita waziri wa mazingira Keriako Tobiko alisema kwamba hakuna yeyote atakayelipwa fidia katika awamu ya pili ya kuwatimua maskota hao ambayo itaanza hivi punde Alan Ochanda na taarifa hiyo Operesheni ya kuondoa wakazi kutoka msitu wa Mau imerejea vinywani mwa wengi baada ya waziri wa mazingira Keriako Tobiko kutangaza kuwa zoezi la kuondoa maskota bila fidia litaanza hivi karibuni katika Mau People must move out of the Mau and they must move out of the mouth without compensation. Our constitution does not protect illegally acquired property, and no one has a right to compensation in respect. Now, we will start, if we go that way, even these criminals that are being arraigned for corruption, they will also now start demanding compensation. There is nothing like compensation for Mao. If you are in Mao, the title you have is a paper title. Majukwaa ya siasa sasa ya kisheheni mjadala huo wadau wa kuu wakielezea kutamausha kwao na mipango hiyo. And what saddened me is the story of what is happening to our children in the mall. That we have our children happy, bright, exuberant in one side and we have another side of our children who are suffering. Ndeomba tu kwamba wakati ambapo tunafikiria mambo kama haya tujali watoto tujali maisha ya watu wetu na tunaomba sana and I'm sure my team here we all support environmental conservation we do not encourage anyone destroying the environment but we are mindful of human beings awamu ya kwanza ilishuhudia makazi yakiharibiwa na kuchomwa waathiriwa wakikosa makao Awamu ya pili ikikisiwa kuwa yenye athari zaidi na lotangazo la waziri wa mazingira likizika matumaini ya wakazi zaidi ila viongozi wamempa changamoto can, the government can buy back the land like uh, has been mentioned we've seen how SGR imefanywa kama serikali wanataka jenga barabara they will buy my land and i let go wiki iliyopita baadhi ya viongozi hao walikutana na kiongozi wa upinzani Nasara ila Odinga kuhusu swala hilo na kupendekeza njia mbadala na I appeal to his excellency the president that the leadership of Kalenjin are ready to sit down and find a lasting solution to that problem of Mau mjadala huo aghalabu umekuwa ukigeuka na kuwa chombo cha kisiasa kwani ulimjongea Odinga mwaka 2008 na kutalikiana na eneo la bonde la ufa kisiasa. Ni bana swala la msitu wa Mau limekuwa kaa la moto. Nyuzi joto zikizidi kupanda kila uchao. Na sasa wito kutoka kwa wadau wa siasa ni kuwa pawepo mazungumzo badala ya kutumia nguvu kuweza kuwaondoa wakazi kutoka msitu huo.